Welcome back on this Tuesday morning. So the biggest impact today will be the heavy snow that will accumulate rather quickly this afternoon and evening. That's why I set travel conditions at a high risk today, especially in Marquette County and the western counties of the UP. We still have a lot of those roads that are covered in deep snow, and we're still trying to dig out from that to then top it off with another round of rapidly accumulating snow this afternoon and evening. And you can just kind of guess what picture that's going to spell out for us. Winter weather advisories are in effect through tomorrow morning for all of the purple highlighted counties. There are also counties in the northern lower that are under winter weather advisories. So if you have travel plans to head downstate, keep that in mind. Pretty much everyone within our region will be impacted by this storm system here over the next 24 hours from Wisconsin to areas downstate. Right now we're seeing a little bit of some patchy mix in the northern lower parts of Traverse City, seeing some of that as well. A little light scattered rain for areas in the southern lower peninsula and here closer to home, we're dealing with this band that's moving out. This was the band of more moderate to heavy snow during the overnight hours and right now it is slowly letting up, but still quite steady along US 41 extending into western Alger County. It's all associated with this area of low pressure lifting up from the central plains. It's going to track north and northeast and then head up into Ontario here by tomorrow. Now we're on the northern fringes of it, so that means some heavy snow for us. Right now you can see some of the snow coming down over at the Mackinac Bridge, though it looks like the road commute along that bridge doesn't look too bad, but certainly slippery. Additional snowfall amounts easily 7 to 9 inches for the bulk of the UP area south less than 6 inches. This goes through tomorrow morning, but the higher elevations for the western counties, including Marquette County, will range around a foot to locally higher than that, especially again, those higher elevations. Here's your hour by hour for today. Here's midday, some light to moderate snow steady across the west, but the heavy snow will be on our doorstep around that point in time over in Wisconsin. It will then spread from Wisconsin to the northeastern sections of the UP throughout the afternoon. This is 530. I think that's when conditions will really deteriorate with a heavy snow quickly piling up through about I would say seven o'clock into the evening. There's another little batch of light snow that rolls through during the overnight hours but should be out of the area by this time tomorrow morning, all of it coming to an end. Blowing snow will still be a little bit of an issue for us, especially when the intensities increase this afternoon. Winds will be gusting around 30 to 35 miles per hour. Temperatures will remain below normal. We'll look for low teens to the west, mid to upper teens in the central counties, and then low to mid teens across the east. Looking ahead, we have a more quiet end of this week, but we are going to remain below normal. We have more sports coming your way up next. TV6's Joey Ellis has girls basketball highlights, Escanaba and Sault Ste. Marie on the court.